once you've selected the chat icon and started Palace Chat version 4, if you click anywhere on this blue background, it will ask you to connect. <clears throat> it will give you this window, new connection. You put in your nickname right here. Typically it will start out with Palace Chat User. You can start with that or type in whatever name you want. For me, I'm going to select mine. You can type in the address or use the default one that comes with the program. Uh, in my case, I am at fortress.ssws.us. That gives me the address of the server and then it needs a port. In my case it's 9998. This is usually blank, the room ID. For this tutorial I've selected 453 so that I'm out of the way of everybody that's in the in the home right now. I'm going to hit connect and when I do I go straight into the palace. It is not unusual to have a number of messages pop up and they tell you different things about how this particular server is set up. Uh, they're also going to show up on the log window so you can read them down here on the log window and I will explain how to get to that on another session. Right now this is simply to show you how to get in. Um, the menu structure right here at the top is important to go over uh, let's start with the menu. File menu, you have a new connection. That's another way to get to that first screen. You can create it in a new tab. You can disconnect. You can close the window. And then there are some things that are of use when you're more of an advanced user than right now. You can, in the edit, you can turn sounds on or off. You can turn speech on or off. Or you can click on options it will display a window of various different options. Uh, the one that you may want to fill out is this profile where I describe this is Argos of the Builders pledged to the homestone of the Fortress of Sophronicus. I'm also the city administrator and you may reach me and all these things. It tells me what my home palace is so I can record exactly where I want to go when I get the click on the icon to enter palace. Uh, let me close that. I'll cover that a little bit more. There are different views that you can have. You can look at the toolbar, which I have displayed. You see how that goes away. View toolbar, and I now have it back up here on top. Uh, snap to room size. It will adjust this. There are many different sizes of rooms. This is a particularly small room because it's an entry gate. We can show the current avatar. We can change our text size, make the text bigger, make the text size normal, make the text smaller. Show the doors, and I'll explain what that is later. Show the names of the people, and then change your screen name. If right here you have the screen name that came in with Palette Chat User, you would then type in whatever screen name you want. Um, Bookmarks show you the different places where you have been. You can add a bookmark and you can see many different palaces that I have on my bookmarks. You can go into the tools list and see the user list, the room list. You can look at the chat log. Uh, you see it down here at the bottom. If I want to turn it off, I just click that and the chat log goes away. Or I can bring the chat log back in by clicking right there. Uh, key point is you see right here on the right hand side the shortcuts so since this is a Windows application you have control L will turn on and turn off the log. Uh, you can look at your prop windows here's my prop window if I hit naked you can see this is what you most likely look like when you came in the very first time it's just a round ball with eyes and your name underneath it. You can select a particular avatar. I'm going to pick uh, my favorite, Derek Jeter. 
and uh, let's hit this out of here. Uh, now you know how to come in and what some of the logs are, some of the tools. Next time I'll cover how to actually move around within Palace. Thank you very much.